welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So <laughs> I don't know if you if it's just well I know it's not just me because I've seen a lot of people agreeing with this notion but I wonder are y'all as tired as I am? <laughs> I know at this point when you're watching this we're kind of like a week into daylight savings time and the time switch or whatever and us losing an hour and let me tell you as somebody who gets up very early even on a weekend yeah <laughs> I'm feeling it like I'm so sluggish it's taken me like an extra five ten minutes which for me is a long time to get up and get to the gym in the morning like it's just I'm just dragging girl not only did the time change but my miss girl decided to come <laughs> miss girl decided to come in town all at the same time so it was just like whoa it's this <laughs> there's a lot going on um as it pertains to my my biological setup right now and i'm just exhausted girl so <laughs> if i'm looking like i'm tired girl it's because i am <laughs> okay but uh but yeah how are y'all adjusting to the time uh change like i said at this point when you're watching this we've been We've lost an hour um, for a little over a week, so hopefully we're adjusted now. Hopefully future Ashley watching this, you are better adjusted now. But girl, when I tell you it felt like not, it don't feel like we lost two, uh, one hour. For me, it feels like we lost five hours. Girl, I'm just sluggish, I'm exhausted, I'm, just, I'm a turtle, I'm a snail, I'm a, I'm a walking snail. <laughs> I'm not a person, I'm an actual snail, but girl, oh my God, I'm just, mm -hmm. But anyway, I had to start off by saying that because right now when I'm filming this, it's like five o'clock at night. Normally like an hour from now, I can start winding down because the low key, your girl, not only do I get up early, you know, people who get up early, that typically goes to people who go to sleep early and I go to sleep early as hell. But now when I'm laying down like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, the sun is still out, girl. So I'm gonna need me some blackout curtains in my bedroom or something. Like it's good for my plants. My plant is my new plant. She's thriving. Uh, she still doesn't have a name, but she's thriving. But I'm like y'all. Like, <sighs> well, I'm from Indiana, so let me say that y'all know I'm from Indiana. Back in the day when I was going, uh, when I was coming up or whatever, until I, we, the time in Indiana did not change. That just started. I want to say like in the in the um, maybe mid 2000s or so but like indiana was one of the only states that's why we we're in indiana is such a weird place if you've been then you are you know what i'm talking about but back in the day indiana was like one of the only states that the time did not change so when i went to school in alabama and they was talking about the time has changed i'm like what are y'all talking about what the hell y'all some aliens what the i was so unfamiliar but obviously now i'm used to it but my body ain't I love it in the fall when we gain an hour. I love that. And I like the darkness because I'm weird like that. But anyway, enough about the time change. What's going on with y'all? Did y'all watch the Oscars um, for me? And I did. I think it's a clip that y'all going to see a little bit later. Um, for me, I was like, let me let them people have their program. I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't enough black people nominated. I did want to see Angela Bassett win, but I had a feeling they were, were going to snub her. And it just so happens that when I tuned in, because I was trying to see Rihanna and what she was given, um, but she wasn't given anything, surprisingly, um, <laughs> from a fashion standpoint anyway. It was it was quite boring um, from what she's capable of. But when I did tune in, it just so happens that it was on the category where Angela Bassett was freaking nominated and they didn't give it to her. And just to see the disappointment and the sadness on her face, it just really, I was like, you know what, let me turn from this program because I'm about to be pissed off. <laughs> like, I was, don't do auntie. Like, she deserves all of the things. And I felt the way that she didn't get her reward. And I mean, her award. And I saw that look on her face of disappointment and it just kind of saddened me or whatever. Um, so beyond that, I did not watch any of the show. I didn't see Rihanna perform. I was like, let me, let me, let me not, let me not allow these people to piss me off and start my week off. I'm already exhausted because I didn't lost my hour, <laughs> but I'm not about to let these people ruin my day and my week and my night by not, by, um, by continuing to snub my people. So I let it go. The fashions were not fashioning. I just wasn't feeling it overall. So I promptly turned the channel and I started watching the Escape SWV show. 
Are you guys watching it? Um, if you are not, I highly recommend it because it is given the drama that you would anticipate. Um, especially with the Scott sisters. I didn't know there was a lot <laughs> going on in that dynamic. I knew that Latasha and Candy kind of had a little bit of a beef. Is it Latasha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Latasha and Candy kind of have beef over the years, but it definitely seems like now watching the show, Latasha's the common denominator. She has the, I think I'm Beyonce syndrome. <laughs> and obviously she was out before Beyonce, but for some reason she thinks that people are going to be checking for her without the group and i don't really see that happening girl your personality is not very engaging and uh, and yeah you can sing but we want to see you with these other girls we don't yeah so basically before i got <laughs> shut off uh that show is definitely given a lot of drama like i said the girl latasha is certainly given um I'm the common denominator. I'm the drama in the um, in the group, and this is the reason why we have so many issues because she clearly, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it for her, but uh, but she's definitely given bringing all the drama. Um, other than that, but the show is really good. I'm super surprised. I mean, I didn't necessarily any anytime, anytime honestly, Candy's involved because I even like the old Lady Gang show from last um, from last year. I just feel like Candy is just such a force. Like, I really like Candy. Like, um, she just, she, her, her capacity to juggle so many different projects and so many different jobs is very inspiring because I don't see how she do it. Plus have little kids and big kids and a husband and a family. And she's, she's an inspiration, honestly. I, I get a lot of um, inspiration watching her. So big Candy fan uh, from a work ethic standpoint, that is. But other than that, um, You Part 2 came out the other day, apparently, and I completely missed it. But I kind of already feel like I understand what the twist is there. And, and my and my feeling was confirmed via Sonia, so she kind of ruined it for me. But I kind of brought that up anyway, so I don't even know if I'm... I'm probably going to finish watching it, but I just feel like Joe... Between Joe and Lamar from BMF, like, they need to die. <laughs> like Romeo must die because it's like y'all are like cats with 9,000 lives like how do y'all y'all are indestructible they're the Thanos or the of uh, of drama sitcoms I mean drama tv shows because how is Lamar on BMF still alive how is he still alive and how is Joe from you still alive like it's really bizarre but anyway I definitely plan on finish watching that I know y'all probably don't watch Mary at First Sight, so I know y'all probably could care less about that, but I I am very committed to watching that show every single season, um, even with my other friends, like Sonya used to watch it with me, and she has, she don't watch it no more. She hasn't watched it for the past couple of seasons, and I'd be like, will you please watch this with me, because nobody else will watch it, but um, she, yeah, nobody wants to watch it, but I like that show a lot. Like, some of those, comp those couples, really be surviving like the the eight weeks and years from now are still married with kids and and all of that so i really like that show i really like it i don't know why you know people don't watch it as much but anyway you know your girl will go on and on and on i don't know what this week is going to uh bring because the weather is freaking crazy like we're on i think they call it winter 3.0 here in atlanta like I think tonight is or this weekend at the low is gonna be like 30. Like we literally just had like flip-flops on a couple of weeks ago. Like if this ain't what my grandma used to call pneumonia weather girl, I really don't know what it what it is. But I I just for me, I need a vacation. I have been stressing. You know, we can talk like that about we can talk about real life here. I've been stressing about tax season. I hate tax season, y'all. When I tell you I hate tax season. I hate it, but it's we're beyond that. I filed my taxes. I know what my outcome is. It's just a matter of sending them their money um, or whatever, but I hate tax season. It stresses me out, and I just feel like because of that, I need a vacation, and my goal was to do a vacation once a quarter. My aunt and I, like I told you guys, we were going to Paris. We were going to go like in April or May, but now it's looking more like September uh so which is fine because that's just going to give me you know even more time to get my to get my shit together but um but because we're not going next quarter i gotta come up with a q2 trip so i don't know if i'm gonna go out to cali to the bay area to hang out with my bestie and her baby 
or if I'm gonna go, I don't know, girl, I'm going somewhere, and it gotta be somewhere I got some good ass food because you know how it goes. Um, so if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. I miss Savannah. I kind of want to go back to Savannah, and I thought about that. So I might do that in a couple of weeks. Wherever I go, of course, I'm gonna be bringing you guys with. But let me stop blabbling and uh, talking y'all's ear off. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey girl, hey boy, hey, thank you so much for coming back. Please, before we even get into the video, hit that like button because your girl is trying to grow over here and based off of the YouTube the YouTube algorithm, I need all the support I can get. So your guys' likes definitely help me out. And also, for the new people, if you're new and you haven't watched, uh, you haven't been to my channel before, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. You know, that's one of, these are, this is one of the very small things that we can still get for free in this, in this day and age. So take advantage <laughs> and also help out your girl. You know what I mean? But, um, but anyway, thank you so much again for coming back and let's get into the actual vlog. I hate when you do. So you guys, a quick update on this EOS lotion in coconut waters. Y'all already know how I feel about Vanilla Cashmere. She is the girl. But this one um, is the second scent that I tried out from EOS Thur Lotion. Y'all, this smells amazing too. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. And I'm not, I like coconut like fragrances or coconut scented things, but I wouldn't say that I go up for them, if that makes sense. But this right here, I don't know what they doing over at EOS. They must have like a new chemistry team or... I don't know what's going on, but they doing it right. They are doing the shit right. Like literally, I'm on my third bottle of vanilla cashmere. I got one left from when I did like a um I ordered like four. Well, I ordered one initially, then I ordered another three. So I have one bottle of that left, and then I just decided because I'm almost done with my third bottle of vanilla cashmere to go ahead and crack this one open this morning y'all why i have this on and then i also have um joe malone i have a joe malone sample of english pear and freesia i think is what it is <laughs> i'm smelling like that girl this morning like you know I, t I try to always smell like that girl you know i'm into i'm into fragrances and scents but girl this right here is the shit. Now, do I like it better than, if I had to put them in a box and match vanilla cashmere against coconut waters, vanilla cashmere is still got that girl and she's still gonna win. Um, but this one is like really good, especially for like spring, summer, to go with like your more uh, fruity, sweet smelling um, scents. And then I think gourm um, vanilla cashmere is more for like gourmands if you want to do like, you know, pairings. But anyway, this, the moral of the story is EOS is that shit. They that girl, this lotion, this formula is everything. And the fragrances are perfect. And it's like a coconut, like, it's, um, I don't know why I say coconut waters. Because to me, it's given like coconut raspberry or coconut like strawberry or something like that. But not in a juvenile way. I can go on and on just know this one smells amazing too and then there's a third one i think it's raspberry something or berry something i'm gonna go ahead and try that one too because they just they can't lose like they 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 know what the hell they doing i'm obsessed i will be buying this again but again vanilla cashmere she'll be my number one but this shit right here close second hey you guys so i just want to say this real quick regarding sierra's um oscar after party dress if i'm not mistaken um before i forget of course i don't know i probably already said before i forget but anyway um i was not into the oscars this year something told me don't watch it you know don't be fooling around with them people this is for them not for us um when i was watching it briefly um i was trying to see if i can catch rihanna because i wanted to see what she had on Girl, I didn't miss anything because I didn't like any of those things that she had on, but I wanted to see her performance. Even that I did not like, but um, so I don't know what's going on. Her last pregnancy slay from last year, she was she was giving. Hopefully, you know, this is just a moment and she's going to give again. Um, I watched it very briefly enough to see Angela Bassett not get her award, which immediately prompted me to turn the channel. Um, however, on Instagram, of course, I did see Sierra's, and again, I think this is her after party dress. First of all, I, and I'm gonna probably try to insert a picture of it right here, just in case you didn't see it. Obviously, she's she's naked. She's you know it's she's whatever. They're supposed to be you know whatever. 
Um, I'm not even talking about anything as it pertains to religion. However, the dress is ugly, girl. It's ugly. It's ugly. You look corny. Uh, your man looks even cornier. And um, the dress is ugly. Like, you literally just wanted to show your body, which is fine. You have an amazing figure. You have an amazing body. You're a beautiful woman. But give me fashion, regardless of what you, like, this is not fashion. This is just ugly, girl. That's all I wanted to say. Just, this shit is ugly. I just want to say, you know that you're a, Alexa, pause. You know you are a southerner when it's the, when your jar on your counter isn't it's not filled with sugar or flour it's filled with grits girl <laughs> yeah that's like the only container i actually have on the counter and i actually just refilled them and these are not my preferred grits i actually prefer jim dandy but they didn't have any at the store last time i bought them i just had to say you know <laughs> whoever would have thought that i would keep a fully stocked jar of grits at all times girl i love them <laughs> y'all look where i am on a friday night <laughs> At the Home Depot, my auntie said that I needed to repot my plants. The one that is like halfway, um, she's thriving, but she definitely needs some some new soil. So I am at the Home Depot, and it is raining. Ooh, to outside, girl. But yeah, this is this is my Friday night. <laughs> what was yours? So they have quite a bit of. Um, they have a very large plant selection here at the Home Depot. They even have a Monstera. This is the plant that I have at home that I'm trying to revive, my Monstera. They're pretty easy to keep uh, alive, actually. Mine is just, she, I, she should have been replanted a long time ago. They got a lot of snake plants. They got some stuff up in here. And they even come with the freaking, um, with the plant plot, with the with a plant pot. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to say. Don't ever buy these trees, y'all. These palm trees, I've had a couple from Ikea and they look good, but they die fast. And I don't know anybody who has successfully raised one of those. I think it's called a Dracaena. But yeah, um, this is all I'm getting. I'm getting this indoor planting, potting mix, and then I'm also gonna get some plant food. Y'all pray for me because I, Big Mama got to survive. She got to survive this drought. Here's a fiddle leaf. This is like the plant I got last week. So currently in Whole Foods, y'all looking. I really came for the Chantilly cake because it's been a viral thing for a couple of weeks on TikTok. But I always, of course, look at their flowers. Girl, they, they be trying it. Like, why are y'all charging $15 for a dozen roses. It would be okay, but they look like trash. Like, look at these. They look like they already halfway did, and if they not, they're gonna be dead in a couple of days. Like, who about to give y'all $15 for these flowers? Girl, not me, girl. Not I. Now, these look better, I will say, but, but yeah, no. We'll stick to Trader Joe's. I done brought my ass up in here, and they ain't got not a single Chantilly cake. <laughs> The girls have been going crazy over the Chantilly, like, oh my God. But there's also a vanilla cheesecake. Oh, here's a different kind of Chantilly. This ain't the one I want, but this is a mango one. Definitely don't want that. There's another one. Maybe I'll just try this Tres Leches. I love a good Tres Leches, child. But damn, this is literally the reason why I came. Luckily, I didn't drive too far because it's right next to Home Depot where I just left, but your girl wanna try this freaking cake, damn. Look what I got, y'all. The man was so nice, he saw me looking and uh, he came, the guy who works there, he saw me looking real hard and he came out and he said, this is the last piece, this guy right here, the nicest guy ever. I'm so happy. So of course they have a TJ Maxx right next door to Whole Foods in the same plaza as Home Depot. So I love to come in here and I look at, the, especially to look at, of course, their candles, but also like their skincare and shit. And this looks very interesting. It's an aloe soothing body, face and body mist, 95%. I don't know what that means. Maybe 95% aloe. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna pick it up. It's a Korean made and you know, they're known for having like the best skincare apparently. So I think we're gonna pick this up. I really just came in here for some, oh, sweet almond. 
I don't have anything with almond. I really came in here for some um, some lavender oil for my oil diffuser in my bedroom. But you know how you get caught up in this junk, up in this joint, child. So we'll see. So they also have foot mask in here, which I didn't know. I've never looked over here. They got a lot of different foot care stuff. They got like pumice stones and callus removers and stuff. But y'all know I showed y'all that um, Dr. Show's foot mask a few months ago or a few weeks ago. And this one looks very, very uh, effective. Look at the before and after. That's literally how the Dr. Show's had my foot looking. How much is this one? $6.99 and you get oh you get two in there so that's and that's again korean made they got a lot of korean uh, uh skincare shit up in here body care shit girl they say the koreans know what they doing when it comes to the body baby we want we gonna find out <laughs> So from TJ Maxx, I just picked up two things. Um, I ended up putting that aloe vera face body spray back because I just bought some Mario Badescu last week. So I'm trying to, you know, use that before I buy another face spray. So of course, this was the purpose of me going. So I got the lavender oil. It's a two pack for $7.99. That was pretty good. 100% um, pure. And then this candle was amazing. It smells so freaking good. And I'm so in the spring um, mood right now. So it's pineapple coconut. Pretty big candle. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. And um, it was only $9.99. So I'm about to burn that hole right now. <laughs> of course, from Home Depot, the boring stuff is <laughs> the indoor potting soil. Uh, so I can get my baby right and then of course I also got some indoor plant food this is my first time using plant food so I hope this is good and I hope um, they don't do nothing bad to my babies and then from Whole Foods all of this stuff like I said is in the same um, like complex across the street from Pond City Market you know where they're so if you live in the A. But anyway, the Chantilly cake. This was my purpose of going into Home Foods. I done messed it up, but $4 for this slice of cake. And I can tell, I don't, I can't eat this. This, I'm filming this on a Friday, this clip, but I can't eat this until tomorrow. Just know, look how, look how moist that shit look. Girl, and I got the end of the cake. I don't even give a damn. He was so sweet. He was like, yeah, I got one more cake left. It's, um, I was like, well, can I have it please? Like, Thank you. And then they had a cookie bar. This is my first time seeing that they had a cookie bar at Whole Foods. So, me being the cookie monster that I am, I picked up this cookie, which is like a shortbread cookie with caramel on the inside. I got two of those. And then I also got like a regular, like, M &M cookie. Oh, y'all don't understand the freaking willpower that is going to be required to not mess with this until tomorrow but luckily it's seven o'clock at night i only got a couple of hours until you know i can wake up and eat it but anyway that is what i picked up today from the stores so in the what are we currently burning chronicles this is the ass last of my target candy pecan candle y'all i don't know why i didn't get more like i did last year like i stocked up i was good for way past like the the fall winter but for whatever reason i was sleeping this year and now i'm out this is the ass last yeah what y'all burning right now <laughs> listen do y'all watch bmf <laughs> i'm cracking up because lucille baby she has had it honey with charles and i'm so glad she read his she read his ass <laughs> This is so funny, man. I love. I was like, you know what? This show, it, it's it's giving what I needed to give. Like, this is the finale. Do y'all watch BMF? Let me know. But good. 
When I tell you, Mama said, I am not about to let this shit go. I'm about to drag your ass at the dinner at the dinner table with your kids. I don't give a damn. I'm here for it. Good job, Lucille, because he sh he was a trash bag. <laughs> Alexa, pause. I should turn her off before I start talking to y'all for once in my life. But you guys, it is time to change this rack out for spring, summer. Literally, <laughs> I was really holding out because I thought I was going to wear this. Now, granted, I know we've talked about this before and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I really wanted to wear it. And maybe I'll wear it tonight if I go out to eat. Who knows? But I will wear it next season. Um, Definitely got my wear out of this faux little teddy dupe. Um, still haven't worn this H&M NY sweater. Love this sweater. That's the Kalana Barfield Brown. Um, her first drop from Target. Only wore it once, but love it and will definitely wear it again. Still did not wear these uh, chocolate brown jeggings. I mean, chocolate brown pleather. Let Maybe I'll wear those today. Who knows? High-waisted chocolate brown faux leather leggings from Walmart. This, so essentially the reason why I'm showing y'all this rack is because all of this stuff <laughs> over here on this here side, well actually, you know what, I got some more stuff to add to that side too. Basically, I need some stuff for spring. So this justifies the reason why I need to shop for spring because literally the only thing that I have for spring so far, I'm about to show y'all uh well i guess we can leave those style dresses there so that whole side was for um fall winter so for spring i did decide to keep this h&m sweater i did not take that back i just love it it's super cute even though it's almost <laughs> this is, i mean it's the same vibe as this but you know completely different and because it has like those hoes like for you know i think it'll be cool for spring summer uh, you yeah, know how much I love this Zara cropped denim jacket. So that's going to be an interchangeable for spring as well. Absolutely killed that when I went to Indiana for Thanksgiving. I'll keep my style dresses, especially this color, the green color. I'll keep the gray one. I need to bring my blue one out over here too. So I'll keep these two style dresses on here for spring, summer. And then also this green dress that uh, this green ruche dress is giving body con girl but it fit real good and it makes the body look very much sna snatched but um so yeah so that's all i have so far for my spring wardrobe capsule i have what is that five pieces there on the end so definitely need to get some more spring pieces because all of that is going to get archived into the closet for next fall winter and then that side is going to be for spring summer so your girl needs some clothes. She needs some ASAP. Yeah, so um, I'll be looking for some some sales, like I always am. <laughs> hey, you guys, just checking in. It is Saturday mid-morning, and I'm about to head out and hit some and do some errands. I need to do a return to H&M. I also want to stop by Linux and see if they have that new denim bag at Zara. At this point, it's probably not really new anymore because it has been out for about a month or two. But I do want to see it. And my eye is water. This eye is always watering. She's so sensitive. But I want to see that little bag. It's kind of like a Bottega dupe. But I wanted to check that out. And I also want to smell the new Vallea by Parfums de Marley. So headed to Lenox, headed to Atlantic Station, probably stop and pick up something to eat real quick. Also, um, I'm not really wearing anything special, which I never really am, but um, it is like 50, it's going to the highest 52 today, but right now it's 39, so it's kind of, it's really cold. And this is probably one of our last like super cold weekends in the city, so I am wearing my favorite faux leather motorcycle jacket from blank nyc the one that i got from nordstrom um so i will be zipping this up i am wearing a blondie t-shirt from h&m i showed you guys i picked that up in a haul a few weeks ago probably you know i got on black leggings <laughs> black leggings dan smith adidas which you can't even see my green goyard saint louis gm tote because i just don't feel like changing purses um what else oh Keiko wanted me to show 
per my nude lip combo. Surprisingly, this is the new lip that I'm about to show y'all that I wear damn near every single day. I have a different lip on today and it's actually a ColourPop satin lip that's discontinued. But the one that I normally wear is actually this by LA Girl and it's LA Girl Lip Mousse Velvet Lip Color. And I think this is like $4 or something like that at CVS, which I really love, but the color is low key. So that is normally my go-to lip combo along with NYX, just standard brown lip liner, if you will. So that is normally my new lip combo. And I do have that liner on, but I just have a little bit of a different uh, lip on today, which is that discontinued ColourPop, but this is normally my combo. And I know this is still in the store. And again, that is in the color low key. I love this formula. It lasts all damn day, this LA girl, and it's so cheap and I love that. For fragrance, since again today is really chilly and it's probably one of our last chilly days, um, I wanted to go gourmand. So my favorite gourmand uh, fragrance combo, of course, is none other than Killian Angel Share. Y'all probably are tired of me talking about this combo along with the Fenty uh, Holiday Butter Drop. What is it? Uh, the vanilla? No, not the vanilla one. We didn't like the vanilla one. This one is the, uh, the the holiday one, the one that smells like cinnamon. So I still have these two, still have me in a chokehold. So I am wearing them today. I don't have really no jewelry on, just my everyday jewelry. You see, I'm glistening for my body <laughs> from the butter drop. Um, have on my everyday ring, Apple Watch, everyday necklace. Uh, let's ride out <laughs> before the traffic gets out of control. Yeah. So I just smell Balea and I don't love it. It's extremely floral. I'm not a big, even though I like some floral fragrances like Delina, um, Flower Bomb, stuff like that. I don't love, I don't prefer floral. So this one's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> Try not to buy nothing from here for the simple fact that there is a sale in a few weeks. However, there is something I want to smell, so. Never smell this really on a fragrance. Let's see. So this, I think, is the new Killian. Can't Stop Loving You. I think this is the new one. I'm not mistaken. Let's see. So I've been wanting to smell this. This is the new Valentino Born in Roma Intense. So let's see how she smells. a few of these little babies so I can get in the in the mood for spring. Ooh, Coco Paradise. That sounds good. So this packaging, this plain packaging is like undefeated. I love it. So today was a major lesson in restraint, y'all, because I went to Zara. I saw, first of all, y'all know how I feel about like motorcycle jackets, leather jackets, all of that. That's like my favorite, that's like my thing or whatever. So I go to Zara, I saw that oversized crop black moto jacket that all the girls have been going crazy on, crazy about on TikTok and girl, it fit. I tried on a large, it fit. Mind you, I had on a black leather jacket. I had to take that off to try this on. And I left it, y'all left it. Real quick, real quick. 
Y'all, this jacket is a medium. That just lets you know that they're making stuff real big these days. Uh, check out this jacket. Like, why am I drawn in so many of the same type of shit? But this is different. Look at this. So, yeah, this jacket is mad different. Like, and that's a small. Y'all, this is the jacket. And this is a small. Like, how the hell is that? I still love this little Attico dupe. And theirs is $49. I want to say the Zara one was like $90. So this is way better. Ooh, and it's on the back. They give it to you on the back, too. All I'm saying is don't sleep on Forever 21, girl. Because sometimes they be having some pieces. Like, this is mad cute. $54. As Zara, this will be $90. This bag is cute. It looks like real leather, and it's the color of the season. Lilac for $29 or lavender. This is mad cute. It's men's, but it's only $50. Whatever that means. So these are the picks I got from Bath and Body Works. Y'all, it's a whole ordeal. So I initially went to Linux this morning and um, the lady did not let me use. I had like on the, body, on the Bath and Body Works app, I had a 25% off coupon. She was, as soon as she looked at it, mind you, it was like a barcode. <laughs> and um, She was like, that's for online only. And I was like, I thought about it for a minute. And I was like, but this is a barcode. And then she tried to scan it and it didn't scan or she didn't allow it to scan something. And she was like online only. And then I looked at it again. I said, well, it says redeemable online or in stores. You just have to scan this barcode. And she said, well, you saw I tried to scan it and it didn't work. I said, okay, well, can I use the other coupon? The other coupon was a free body care travel item up to $8.95 with no purchase necessary. She was like, we can try it. I said, you know what, just take one of the candles off and I'll, um, don't worry about it. <laughs> so she was just kind of stank from the gate. I said, don't even, I, I was thinking to myself, I gotta go to H&M later on anyway at Cumberland. So I'll just take these back and then try to do another transaction at Cumberland. Went to Cumberland, no problem at all. I was like, I need to return these two candles, buy another candle and I need to use this coupon did it with no issue so the girl at Lennox clearly was tripping I don't know what the hell her problem was but anyway I picked up <laughs> sweet peach root and rhubarb this smells really good this is my first time having this and I just love this package and I just think it's super classic the original reason why I went was to get a sun drenched linen or laundry day really they're interchangeable they didn't have laundry day so I picked up sun drenched linen I just love the super uh clean smell and then I also wanted to get a cactus blossom because these two to me are like the best spring summer like bath and body works fragrances and um so on the other side of the cumberland mall like white what is it white bar and candle whatever they have the regular bath and body works so i went over there and politely did a second transaction and picked up this hand cream for free with no additional purchase so f that girl at lennox i don't know if she was hating i don't know why she would have been hating but regardless i was able to uh do what i needed to do and for the price that i needed to do it for yeah 
Y'all, so my brother has been had was asking me for like the past two days, did you watch Swarm? Did you watch Swarm on Amazon yet? And I didn't realize it came well, I did know it came out yesterday because everybody was talking about the scene with Chloe and Damson Idris. Um, they were talking about that all over like Instagram yesterday. So I knew it came out, but I wasn't like, you know, I was gonna watch it. I was gonna get to it when I got to it. But he just kept asking me and I know he got excellent taste in TV. So I was like, damn, it must be like really compelling. And I had already seen like the trailer or whatever. I was like, obviously this is like, you know, they're, they're going to be, it's going to be like a, a not necessarily a parody, but it's going to be loosely based on the Beehive and Beyonce. Um, so anyway, I started watching it today. When I tell you I'm already on episode four, I don't know how many episodes there are, there is. But this shit is good, and I have been binging it for, like, the past, like, couple of hours straight. So, if you guys have not watched it, I'm not going to give anything away. But this shit is really good, and this girl is... <sighs> I ain't going to say what she is. Please watch Swarm if you haven't. It's on Amazon Prime, by the way, y'all. This shit is excellent. Hey, you guys. So, just coming in to end off this week's vlog. Today has been... A long day of errands and just a little bit of you know overall running around and of course I did go to Papacitos earlier it was a one as always um, I just loved it but they're probably my you know I love fajitas but that's definitely the top of the top my favorite fajita place um, so that was cool of course I got my candles I was um, not lucky um, that I didn't think the denim bag was still gonna be available in Zara anyway because like I said earlier, um, it's been out for a couple of weeks. I mean, for a couple of, probably a month or two now. So I don't even know if they have it online anymore. So I really didn't expect to get it. But they definitely had a lot more stuff than I thought they would have. Um, but there was a lot of people in there. So they probably are low at the end of the day. But, um, but anyway, I was, I thought I was going out to eat tonight. But after eating fajitas earlier and just being out all damn day, I'm tired, girl, so I just ordered, I have a pizza that I picked up for Marco, so I'm going to be doing that and finishing watching Swarm. Y'all, Swarm is off the chain, like I mentioned a couple of clips ago. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, watched it, watch it. It's definitely giving um, beehive on steroids, <laughs> we'll just say that. But anyway, if you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe of course and i will see you girls and guys in the next vlog